So let's jump right in here. Uh, Bill, I'm going to throw it to you to sort of set the tone, as it were. Uh, Bill and I had a great time interviewing him at Prior Cashman, but it seems like we're hearing so much more about fakes, forgeries coming to market, whereas back in Almir's time, maybe a lot less. Is it more prevalent or are we just becoming more aware? What's going on? I, I don't think it's necessarily becoming more prevalent. I think we are becoming more aware. I also think, though, that uh, Colleen and I were just talking about this. If there's money to be made, there are fakes to be made. And there's a lot of money to be made, particularly over the last 15, uh, 17 years or so. Uh, and also the art market lends itself, particularly the market these days. It's not like going out and buying a car where you might actually do a lot more due diligence uh, and take your time, but you can take your time because if you don't buy that exact car, there's another one right behind it that's the same and you can buy that one. Art is different and there's a real sense of, you know, got to have it got to have it in the moment, a lot of heat from dealers, and I think that buyers feel that pressure, they feel the, uh, particularly in this market, the desire to compete, uh, and so it all lends itself to, it's a ripe environment for forgery and fakes. Lawyers are always suspicious, at least <laughs> litigators, uh, and art law is a field that has become popular uh, over the last decade, dozen years or so, uh, and you see more and more people like me giving these kinds of presentations. I just think that it's getting into the consciousness more, uh, and so I think people's backs are up more than they once were.